So this is the X12 3D printer that has the problem with the X axis doesn't respond properly and it it's jittery when you try to jog it so we're gonna show that problem real quick so we're gonna go into tools manual we're on 10 millimeter we're gonna press X and we're gonna watch X go crazy and press X again so that was pressing it right we're gonna press it to go left and that's the issue that we're facing right now so in order to diagnose this issue the manufacturer has suggested that either the belt is could be bad the motor cable could be bad or the driver that the motor cable comes from could be bad so the way that we're going to check that is we're going to tip we're going to turn off the machine we're going to tip it over onto its side and we're going to take off the panel on the bottom in order to get to the driver board so we can switch the cable with the x axis to the that's the z axis to the to the y axis which we will find and switch that out So we've got the machine on its backside, and we're going to take out these four screws on the bottom panel to gain access to the driver board. So we're taking the last screw out. There was actually five. There's one in the center as well. So don't try to pry or anything when you just take the four outside ones off. So there are the connections right here for the motors and we're going to switch the x-axis with the y-axis completely we're not just gonna swap them here we're gonna swap the entire cable so that we can verify that either the cable is bad or the driver is bad so just a quick thing you could see on the bottom of the board and it'll tell you X motor, we got Y motor, Z motor, and there's Z motor and extruder motor. So X, Y, Z, got X, Y, Z extruder. So we're gonna swap X and Y here. So, X and Y are now switched. We're going to put the machine back upright and then we're going to switch the cables at the motors themselves. So, so far I've taken off the screws that hold on the cables to the case right here, here, this one there, there there and then there's another one hiding up here that I still haven't got to. I disconnected the cable from the y-axis and plugged it into the x-axis. When you operate this you need to be very careful if you leave your cable coming through the case because you don't have any room for the y-axis to come back this way. Um, so just don't move the x-axis only uh, uh, excuse me don't move the y-axis only move the x-axis so now we're on 10 millimeter and we're going to move x and we could see it's moving quietly smoothly there's no problems so we know that the x-axis driver is okay I would believe But we're going to plug in the cable that's now plugged into the X, uh, that was plugged into the X axis. Now we're going to plug that into the Y axis and we should, we should see the Y axis give us 
those jittery movements like we had on the x-axis before. So just a quick tip, this is the tool that I used to get these nuts off of the case that hold the cables on. It's a five, five point, I don't know if you could see that, 5.5 millimeter and using this little thin profile wrench here to get into tight spaces. So we've pulled off all of the cable things. Now all we need to do is cut this zip tie, cable tie off so we can get the true x-axis cable off and plug it into the y-axis and see if we get that same movement. So we've got two more cable ties tying the x-axis cable to the limit switch. So we're going to cut those off too. So all those zip ties are now off. We just need to pull the cable out of this one little holder and then plug it into the y-axis. Alright, so we've got the cable out of both of those holders. I'm going to turn off the machine before I plug it into the y-axis motor just to be safe and not fry anything on accident. So x-axis cable going in. Well I'm going to unplug the wire that's going into the x-axis because we're going to have movement going this way and I don't want to tug on this good wire here. So now we're going to turn the machine back on. So the machine's back on, we're going to go back into jog mode, manual, so now when we press on Y, we should get those jitters that we were getting. And we're not getting it. Interesting, so the cable appears to be fine there. I'm going to turn it back off, plug that X axis cable back in and see if we have normal operation. So I turned the machine off and back on and plugged in the x-axis cable. So we're going to go back into tool manual. I don't want to move the y-axis too much because we have we're going to have some tension here if we go too far. So I'm going to push x-axis back or excuse me the y-axis back towards the far wall. Just give it a jump back and forth. So the y-axis is working normally. Now we're going to do the x-axis. And the x-axis is working normally. Let's try the z-axis just for fun. Let's try the extruder, see what happens. Uh, sorry, there's actually no filament in the extruder. So I'm going to guess that our problem is just this x-axis cable while it was tied up and plugged into the motor, it was being kinked somewhere so at its current position it's got a good connection. Uh, I'm going to turn the machine back off, plug them back into where they're supposed to be and also in the driver in the back and we will see if it goes back to normal operation. So we've got our wires corrected on the motors, wires corrected on the driver board. So we're going to flip it back up, turn it on and see if she works normally. So the machine's booting up, got everything back into its normal position. The cables are still loose inside of the case just so we don't put anything back together when we don't need to get. So, tool manual. We're gonna try the x-axis here. Let's try the y-axis. 
x-axis. Oh, let's... Uh-oh. Don't do that. I'm gonna hit stop there. I think what happened there is I hit the home button on accident and it should have hit the limit switch and stopped. I'm not sure why. Let's try to make sure we just press the X. X this time. Kind of hard to not hit the home while you're looking through the camera there. So X is working. Y is working. Z. Looks like everything is working normally. What I'm going to try to do is wiggle around the x-axis cable. If you look at them, they're almost a little bit kinked up how they're sitting inside of the case. So I'm going to try wiggling these around and see if I can find what's causing this to happen. Okay, so I moved the cable back up into its little tab holder here that sits on the, the carriage for the x-axis and the way that it's holding that cable there's some kink in this cable here and now when I press X here it gets the little jitters it doesn't know which way to go so let's pull this cable back down get it back into a relaxed position we'll try it again so it's not working give it a little wiggle make sure these cape Cables are in each of their slots there, seated well. Let's try this again. I'll just try unplugging this and plugging it back in, see what happens. So it's not working properly, so in the end, we know that this cable is bad somehow. So if this is what you find, this is the same thing, just buy another one of these cables, they should be about $5, and swap it out and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.